Hi everyone, Jeremy with Epic Sky Technology here, and I'm going to go through some setup on CoolTerm. Uh, this is a neat program by Roger Mir. It's cross-platform, it's light, uh, very good program to use, and this enables communication through like a USB serial port to our Epic line. Um, so we want to go into options and select the serial port that we're using. Um, if you plug your serial port after you open this program, you can click this and it'll rescan your serial ports. We're going to use, this is mine here. This is going to be different for everyone. That's just the particular model and serial number uh, of the port I'm using. Uh, your baud rate and data parity stop bits are all going to be the same, 9600, 8, and 1. And then we're going to go over to our terminal. And we're going to select line mode because we want to send the commands all at once and not letter by letter. And then enter key emulation is critical. It has to be carriage return only. If you do carriage return in line feed or just line feed, it's not going to fun function correctly uh, or maybe function at all. So once we get that set up, we want to connect. And I have an epic kaleidoscope connected here. So this bottom bar here is where we send the commands. And this top window here is what is received. There is no local echo on. And so as I type, uh, the command is being sent. Let's do global off. And then, of course, the LEDs went off, and you can't see that, but you have to trust me on that one. And then uh, this top area here uh, is that command that was resent back. And so if I, you can send pretty much anything. Um, you can send all kinds of commands here, and then whatever the command is, it's going to spit it back out. It's going to regenerate that command, and then take it through a comparator for that particular board, and say, is this for me? yes or no. And if the answer is no, it just flushes the buffer. If the answer is yes, um, something a little bit more valid here, then now the LEDs come back on and we're all good. If you type in a command that generates text, um, it'll spit back the version command. That's what's generated out. Plus the board says that commands for me. I need to print the firmware version, which is 1.4. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, really simple program to use and if you want to make changes to a system that does not have a control system installed uh, you can make these changes to these boards and the ones that are saved in EEPROM will save and so when you power them off and back on it'll hold the changes if you want to tweak uh, speeds or any, anything of that sort brightness on the kaleidoscope boards you can go ahead and do that when you're done go ahead and click disconnect and then remove your USB port and you're all set thanks for watching